Johnny, uh, it was inevitable, I guess, on your first visit back to Australia with Martin Johnson here as well, that people would want to talk about the World Cup. I mean, do you understand it? Does it amuse you or is it understandable? I think I can understand it, yeah. It, like I said, it, it, it maybe has a different effect on, on me. You know, we're in an environment now where you judge very much on what you do next. It's been like that ever since. And that's why it seems such a long time ago. You know, there have been so many highs and lows since then. And as with all things, everything in, in rugby and careers and life itself is, is very impermanent. And the day after you play your next game, you know you haven't got time to mess around with what was or what's been. You just know that it's it was great to be part of it. But uh, you move on and whilst you're still playing, and whilst you're still alive, you, you want to go on to, to more and to, to different things and hopefully to better things. It must have brought back memories though. Being back in this country with the sort of culture here and the training ground today was the one that you started this adventure on in, in Perth uh, leading up to that World Cup. I mean, did it bring a smile to your face? No, oh, it's, it's strange. It really is strange. It's kind of, I guess for me, I, I see you make a you make a choice very soon after an event like that. You just decide, um, and for some guys, the decision was different because they were towards the end of their careers and and they were ready for for moving on. And, and that decision is, like I said, they they have the the opportunity. And it's quite a nice one, I imagine, to be able to say, what a great day, and how about that caps off a, a great you know a great career that they they had had. For me, you know, it was a it was a great day, but. You know, I wanted to move on, and therefore, well, after you make that decision, you know, I've I've spoken to John a couple of times in the hotel, and just sort of said, oh, you know, wasn't this our old team room sort of thing, or you know, this pitch today? By the end of the session, I thought, crikey, this is where we train, but it doesn't it doesn't hit you any quicker than that, nor does it matter anymore. It's just a flashing thought. Then you realise that mentally, you need to be 100% into what you're doing now. Oh, this this tour we're on is all about preparing for the next World Cup. You've got happy memories, but I guess inside you burns the desire for, for more success in that England 10 shirt winning it back yeah it's <coughs> for me the, the aim is always just to keep to keep improving and getting better you know I'm not, I'm, I think I know roughly what I'm capable of and I'm hugely ambitious about that and I want to keep moving towards it but I understand that if I give a, everything I've got in terms of being smart effort everything then I'll get those lessons and I'll and I'll learn but I can't cheat the pace of that, and for whatever I've I've been through in the last six, seven years, um, it's all having its effects, and I'm working against that with how I want to to improve, and I'm enjoying the the pace of where it's going. You know, being in France and playing there, I know that what I wanted there is is coming, and it's coming at its own rate. You can't you can't cheat it. If you do, like I've tried to with injury in the past, if you keep trying to push yourself back and say I can make this, you end up just playing for it a bit further down the line. So I'm, I'm enjoying where I am, and I know that. Yeah, if I keep doing the right thing, I'll, I'll keep hopefully getting the right results, and I'll get to where I want to be. But yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not in any hurry. Finally, I mean, not many people know what it takes to beat Australia in Australia. You do, done it twice. Looking around, has this squad got what it takes to to win in Australia, Johnny? I think, you know, in terms of being confident about playing against Australia, then yeah, we have the right to be confident for sure. Um, but then. That's all we had before those games that we've we've won over here, and, and we've also had the right to be confident here in games we've lost. Um, you know, against teams like this, you have you earn the right to go in there to to be competitive and to to dig in. But the game is <laughs> ultimately the game is built on you know the cumulative effect of big moments, you know, and and uh, and the momentum that's built up through that. So, you know that. We have, we have, I believe, what it's take to be massively competitive and to know that we can win this game much the same as they do. But we still need to go out there and, and string together all the right things and, and, and do the right things, make the right decisions to you know, to try and bring that around. But it's going to be, you know, th th that never, ever comes easy.